Hey everybody, you know how sometimes when you come to the library, after you check out books, I don't read you a story. Sometimes I teach you something on the internet or something important to know how to do in the library, and that's what we're gonna do today. Today I'm gonna show you how you can read some eBooks on a digital library that our school has access to, um, especially during this time. It's crucial that you read at home, and this is one way that you can do it. Okay, so let me show you. Okay guys, the first thing you need to know to get to our new uh, digital library full of eBooks is to go on Google Chrome to fortworthisd.org. Okay, then um, you can go to the students page. It'll be also on the employee page, but you can go to the student page, go to my FWSD. Now that's going to look a little different now than it used to, but that's okay. It's gonna show us the same things. You're gonna sign in with your new login that I understand you all have now. And once you do sign in, it's going to show you this class link launch pad with all different kinds of things. Don't be overwhelmed. I want you to go to Learning at Home Elementary. Learning at Home Elementary. Now, there's a bunch of different things to click on. You check out books in the library, so remember that. And down the left-hand side at the very bottom is Library Media Services. Click that. And then in the middle is School Library Catalogs. That's how you used to find books that, um, that I had um, that I have in the Destiny catalog. But right now, what I want you to do is look at online information resources to do at home. That's the second choice. Click that. Now, this is a very important um, page. This will give you all kinds of research websites, different things to do at home that your teacher may give you um, projects on. This is an important page. Now, the new Destiny, the new library catalog that we are going to be reading ebooks from is called My On Reader. It is this last link. It says AR, Beanstack, and My On Reader. You're going to want to take AR tests. I will teach you about Beanstack in another one of these little videos I make for you, but this is to show you how to use My On Reader. Click on that. Now, if I were you, I would bookmark this page. We have done a lot of clicks to get to this page and you don't wanna to have to do that every time. So if I were you, I would bookmark this page where it takes you straight to Accelerated Reader link or the Myon Reader link. You click this star up in this top corner up here and that will um, bookmark this page for you so you can find it more easily the next time. Now, click on My On Reader. That is our digital library to find eBooks. Every kid, every teacher at every school in Fort Worth ISD will use this same login. It will show school name Fort Worth Reads for every student at every school and teacher. Now, the username for every single person is My lowercase m, lowercase y, capital O, capital N, all together, no space. See that? My on. And the password for every single person is R-E-A-D, read. And then it takes you straight to all the different choices. Now look, this digital library that we have for my on has 6,450 books. Now that's a lot of books. So to keep from having to scroll through thousands and thousands of books to find one for you, I'm going to show you different ways to search for something that you would like to read. Now they have some quick options for you to search if you would like to read books about animals or books about me. Maybe you love science books. I know a lot of you do. Oh, sports and vehicles. You can click on those. But a lot of times when you come to the library, I know you're looking for books on a certain reading level. 
So let's click, this is how you find your certain reading level. Click the search button right up here at the top. Now, some of you older guys look for books in your Lexile range. Click Lexile, and it isn't very specific, but it gives you a range. Are you reading somewhere in the 400s, somewhere in the 700s, somewhere in the 900s? You click the range that you're in. Maybe you're in the 700 range. Then you can even specify your search more by clicking on the fiction. Do you want to read fiction? Those are books that are fake but fun. Or nonfiction, books about real people, places, things, and animals. You click the one you want to read. Say so you're going to click on fiction. So it's going to search for you by your Lexile range and fiction. Then you click this magnifying glass. And it has 80 books on the 700 range Lexile that are fiction. And you scroll through. And you scroll and you look, just like you're looking in my library. Oh, look, there's some books you've never seen before. That's what's so exciting about this. You're going to find books that Miss Kokenauer may have, and then you're going to find a whole bunch that I don't have. Look here, Superman. I want you to click the blue button, Info. Now this is going to give you a summary of the book. It's going to tell you uh, the reading level and the, the Lexile, that's the Lexile. Click the details button for the AR test number. The details button, that's the middle button on the info tab. It tells you if there's an AR quiz number and what it is. Write it down. Write that number down just like you would if you were reading a library book from me. Okay, now if that looks like something you would want to read, then what you do is click this green button that says read, and it opens it up for you. Start the book. And just like if you were, just like if you were reading books from the library, Destiny eBooks, e you use the arrows on the side. Some of you have read those ebooks or sometimes your teacher has read them from the Promethean board. You use these arrows. Graphic novels have a lot of illustrations. You can take as long as you want on a page. If you can't remember what happened and need to reread something, you can go back to a page. You can go as slowly as you need to, just like when you're reading a real book. Okay, and then when you're done, you can exit back out of it. Maybe you want to look for your Fontes and Pinnell reading level. In that case, you pick ABC reading level. And maybe you know that you're a level G. Click G and then click search. There's 175 books on the level G. Now, maybe you realize you want to read in Spanish. So, level G and you want to read Spanish, come over to the language button and click Espanol. It's going to look for books in level G and Spanish. And then click the magnifying glass. It's going to give you 35 books to choose from. Okay? Now, one more way of searching, I'm going to X out of these searches, is to look for your AR level. You click the A, that'll be easy to remember, because A-R. Now, it is not as specific as we are. We give two colors for each grade. Pur orange and purple for kinder. Red and light blue for one. Yellow and dark green for two. Peach and lime green for three dark blue and dark orange for four, and for fifth and up, it's black dot. Maybe you wanted to pick your, maybe you read on a peach level in our library, pick three. And maybe you want to pick nonfiction. So it's going to look for all of the third grade, which is what peach is in nonfiction. Click the magnifying glass. There's 981 books to choose from. Now, as you read, 
First, I always encourage you to click on the info button first to read a summary. Make sure it sounds like something interesting that you would like to read, not too hard, not too easy. And click on the details button, that's in the middle. That will give you the AR quiz number. Write it down. If there's a dash, that means there wasn't an AR quiz for that book. Now, then you can, if you decide to, you may read it. Now, I want to show you something. As you're reading these non, especially certain nonfiction books that have different graphic organizers, you may want to click this magnifying glass and make the print larger, see? So you can see closer. Maybe it's easier for you to read that way. You can adjust that. Now, for kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, I expect you to use these side arrows and read the books yourself, okay? Now, my pre-K friends and any of Miss Cornette's friends that she said it's okay for you to do that, you may click this button down here and it will Deserts read it to all you. all over the world. Deserts cover about one-fifth of Earth's land. The largest sand or rock desert. And it highlights it as it reads it to you. But for most of us, I want you to read just like you would one of my library books that you're holding and read it yourself, okay? Now, I've shown you how to search for different reading levels, how to search for fiction or nonfiction. Of course, if you wanna go back to the home button, click up here and it has the different categories if you wanted to look just for scary books or just for math books. Some teachers might wanna look at those and you can assign different kids, um, your whole class to read the same book because it can have as many kids reading the same book at the same time. It's different than typical eBooks. So that's kind of what's neat, is that you could assign a class to read the same book if you wanted to. Now, um, if you click the News tab up at the top, it gives you different articles to read. Like I, um, I know we're familiar with doing that with Achieve. And you can go back and look up articles from previous days. Now, um, just like I told you boys and girls to um, write down the AR quiz number, go back up here to that page where we clicked on My On Reader. Right above it is the link to the AR test. Just like we don't have our shortcut like we do in our libraries at the, at the school, what I needed you to do is bookmark this page so you can always get to my own reader and the link for AR. And then when you click on it, it's the same AR screen that you've always seen. And you click on student just like you always do. And you log in in the same way that you've always logged in. That did not change. It'll be the same login that is on the back of your library card at the school. And I have sent all of your reading teachers your usernames and passwords in case you forgot them. You can send them a message and they'll let you know what it is. And then you can type in the number of the book you read on the Myon site um, and take a test on it in AR. That way you can keep reading just like always. Okay, and one thing I want you to remember um, to go to the Myon site and be able to read from their digital library is the username and password. For every single person, it's my on all together is the username and the password is R E A D. Okay? And I hope you enjoy reading all these new books that you've not had at our library. I think it'll be a lot of fun and you can still take tests on them.